actually check my stream. Oh, shit. It's all lovely and stuff uh, that I went streaming, but I forgot to change my, um, my shit, so I need to change my title and stuff. But, yes, where we last left off, we had just made it to Baldur's Gate. And immediately made nuisances of ourselves. Always. Do that, do that, and boom, I've updated everything. Um, now, you, you guys made nuisance of yourself, but that's fine. That's just what you guys do. Accidentally, Candy was trying to get lookout to keep an eye out for opinion, suspicious persons show up, and he had a little kid that agreed. Uh, when a doll was like, I could do that, and the kids ran away young for an adult. Um, other than that, you guys had um, been told that you guys were going to get here a little bit ahead of time. Before they get here, and, and all, all things that it looks like you have at least uh, a 10 day before they get here and you were told to uh, get here introduce yourself to the caravan people talk to them um, and other than that you have free time until the people show up to pursue any jobs or anything you would like to do uh, I just want to fence the ring. Oh, you don't want to wear it no more? <laughs> nope. I think we're farther, sufficiently far enough away that I won't get in trouble for, uh, you know, selling it too close to home, let's say. <laughs> the fence is like, hey, isn't this the mayor of whatchamacallit's ring? <laughs> Isn't this the family heirloom of the mayor of Greenness? A ring like this is not so easily forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out his aunt lives in Baldur's Gate. Exactly. And owns a pawn shop. <laughs> exactly. Um, maybe maybe that's wonders. how I'll start the conversation. So I'll walk into the pawn shop and be like, uh, so, uh, hey, if I needed to get rid of a specific kind of ring, is there anything that uh, I should avoid in this area? Um, I I think a Baldur's Gate is a big enough um, hound that you for sure can um, at least find uh, a fence of some kind. Uh, I don't have a map of Baldur's Gate up at the moment, but you, you find a... A generic, like, a dive type thing. Probably outside the back of a tavern. Um, you walk in, you, you at least, from your roguish training, you at least recognize the, uh, the different, the telltale signs of a fence. You, you slip in, um, no. You see the person behind the counter, and they're like, oh, "Can I, can I help you?" Yeah, so uh, I got this um, uh, family heirloom. Uh, my great aunt gave it to me, but you know, times are tough, right? Like, why else do people come to a place like this? Uh, gives out like that little nervous chuckle. Uh, uh, anyways, I, it's just a little bit of gold and sapphire. Probably, I don't know, like. It looks like it's worth quite a bit, but I, I need the the coin. So, uh, what do you think this is worth? Uh huh. They take it from you. They put one of those examining tools in the the eye. They take a closer look. 
Um, let me find out where I put the information on it. Did I? It was nine hundred gold. Thank yeah. you, Michael. Appreciate you. Let me take a look at it. Um. Let's you see. had an opportunity to tell the GM that it was worth a lot more. And you I'm were sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I, I was going to find. Michael's used to it. Don't worry. I'm going to charisma check. It was 1,900. <laughs> Can you persuasion roll the DM? I don't know if that's how that works. Because the party resources is not anywhere. It was I over 9,000. I got no. I have this one specifically in, in uh, my sheet. Yeah, I figured. Um, I just don't know why the party resources isn't showing up anymore. So I have to check oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> um, Dang it. Either way, take a look at it. Um, oh, it's showing up for me. Where is it? Oh, no, because I might just glance over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five over in the journal tab and player's notes. Party loot. Journal party loot. I think I, yeah, because I think I uh, made that so that we wouldn't lose it anymore. I'm like, no matter what, mm. if I make party loot, we can at least keep that. Um, mm. Yeah, so 900 GP worth. Um, yeah, they're like, it's a beautiful ring. What are you, what are you looking to get out of it? I mean. I, I don't know these kinds of things too well, so I, I'm I'm looking. It's a big town. I know you guys can can take advantage of of the uh, you know the little guy, but I'm just hoping for some some good old fashioned honesty here. I know it's uh, in my family. They said it's worth a lot uh, to to me. I don't know what that means, but hopefully you just you know give me give me a good deal. Hmm. Roll me um a persuasion. Let's see how uh, how how nice you you come off to this person. So I think the, the nerves get the better of him as yeah. he's trying to get rid of this thing. <laughs> um, go ahead and give me an insight check as well. Sure, sure, sure. Because I assume you're here alone, because I assume you didn't bring everybody with you to the legal fence in the back. Makes sense. Um, what you notice is they, they hesitate for a second, they, they take a closer look. Uh, like the, uh, it, it's worth a pretty penny, I could probably do 500 for it. Oh, this like uh, visible wince comes yeah, out of and, his face. And you, you have a decent eye for things. You have a feeling it's worth more than that, but uh, it's hard to tell how much more. But you do feel yeah. like it's worth more than nine hundred. You can always counter off what you wanted. Yeah, my my friends led me to believe that this was like, I don't know, almost twice that. That's uh. I know you got to make some cash too. You you you're not you're not in this for free. But uh, can, just, can can I get seven hundred for it? Seven hundred. Roll me another persuasion. Uh, let me let me roll a counter roll. He's like, mm, I think I can do 600 at the highest. That sounds like a good enough deal for me. Thank you for, for, for your, your kind services here. I, I really appreciate someone being around for, for the hard times like this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, do I collect it now or do I come back? How does this work? Uh, I, I, I want to... He, uh, he looks at you, much as I want a, a joke roll that he recognizes it, you're far enough away, they, they don't recognize it. Um, he's like, mm, come, you can bring it back at the end of the day, I should have the funds by then. Perfect. Super appreciate it, I will see you in a bit. 
Okay. And, and we assume you probably went off right after everybody found an end. So while you were doing that, let's see what everybody else would. You guys have just got to Baldur's Gate. Uh, you guys found um, the and It's the typical end that most adventurers sleep in. I believe uh, it's the um, Elf Song Tavern. So, Good stack memories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, every once in a while while you guys are here, you can hear an eerie, beautiful elf maiden sing, and the music permeates the walls. Um, once you guys settled in and got rooms, uh, Kenny mentioned he, he had something to do, and he, uh, went off into the city to go and take care of business. But... What about the rest of you guys? I'm gonna keep my head down. I guess the guards are looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being blissfully ignorant of everything as normal, just playing with Wizak. That that's fair. Um. I wish I could just. Oh wait, can I? I don't think I can. Just. Oh, I might be able to. Um. Go ahead. Uh. Uh. What else are people doing? Um. Let's look at. Tim. What What is uh Abner doing? Um, so our main thing is we need to try to become a part of this caravan, correct? Yes. Um, being more of a squishy, uh, I'll try to find, if I can find any of the merchants that are going to be taking part and try to, uh, become friendly with them to see if they need any help or underlings for the, tr for the journey. Okay, so you want to investigate some of the names that w was given to you guys about the caravans and whatnot? Yeah. Okay, okay. So you head off in that, uh... You make a mention about heading off that way. Um, let me pull up that information. Da, da, da. Let me pop this out so I can actually... Open up over here. Okay, so yeah, the you go off to go talk to them. Um, uh, at least and Rizako playing, I guess. Luca, what is uh, Alistair doing? Um, Alistair would probably just go around town looking at people and trying to get a lay of the land in the same city alleyways and such. Okay. And look for uh, blacksmith. Ah, uh, uh, okay. He would go. I wanted to know where are two types of blacksmiths, like um. A really high end rich in the in the, the good part of town and one like in an alleyway blacksmith that was just like doing out of a trash can with fire and, and stuff like that. I I think if I if I've done everything correctly, I should be able to hit this and force everybody to see. The actual map of Baldur's Gate. If I done everything correctly. There's everybody yep. down here. So welcome to Baldur's Gate. Um I believe the Elf Song Tavern is like in this general area right over here. 
Let me just bring out a, a team based thing. So just in that general area. That way we know where people are. Man, this map brings back memories. Uh, so let's resolve some of these things. Um, you probably head off first, Abner, off to go and talk to the caravan people. Or at least okay. make contact with them. Give them your guys' names. Like, hey, we're looking to, for some work. We hear you guys need some people. That kind of thing. So, we'll have you head that way. Um, and, Alistair, you are looking for a black uh, blacksmiths and such. So, go ahead and roll me a... Uh, Probably a perception would probably be better for you, but perception or investigation to look for, um, look for them. Plus five to this. Yeah, plus five is nice. Uh, somehow your camera turned on in Discord, by the way, Luca. Um, so little ways off. You're in the lower city, so a little ways off. You find probably uh, your standard blacksmith. Um, it, there's probably, instead of like a dwarf or something, there's probably a couple of kobolds like out, like just doing all the work, like running around. Whoop a dragonborn just looking over them like, no, 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 don't, don't eat it too much. Like, you gotta be careful the temperature. And no, don't put it in the, don't quench it quite yet. It's, a, oh, it's gonna mess up. And then he turns around and sees you. He's like, oh, welcome. What can I do for you? Oh. As he looks at you, Alistair. Hello. Uh, I would like to know two things, two very specific things. Oh. Um, do you have raw iron for sale? I could probably be talked into selling my iron. Why? I wanted to try and make some things. But the second question is, are you looking for workers? Maybe like a five-day work. I don't know, personally. I have a lot of what I can handle with these knuckleheads. He turns to the cobalt. If you're looking for work, you can right always. If you're looking for work, you can always look up at the town hall or something. They tend to have stuff uh, on a bounty board of sorts. Can do that too. I was thinking about trying to learn some some blacksmithing again. Nah, okay. Or for the first time, I'm not really sure. He looks at you confused. He's like, well, I can. I could give you some iron, like, it's not, iron isn't that expensive. And you can, I guess, use, uh, use out my, uh, my forge when we don't have to use it. That shouldn't be an issue. That's awesome. That, that's, that's all, all he could ask for. And he, he looks behind the counter he's like I, I have a couple free uh pounds of uh pounds of iron like it'll be about a silver piece per pound hey i would love to get um five silver one five silver okay and he like puts uh five pounds of uh iron up on the counter he's like here you go yeah, that's great I'll, I'll pay him for the the five five silver and i just try and mash it up my my bag five pounds of iron yep go ahead and add five pounds of iron to your sheet well i can if you would like do I actually? Is I there any way I can just trade good? Uh, me, I'm actually checking that now. Uh, boom. Because I do have like six iron ingots in my inventory already. 
which are, I think, a pound apiece. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm giving you official, um... Oh, that's even better. So, six iron there, and then if I drag this, it should give you another one, and I'm gonna put raw onion. And this will be five. And then we'll just get rid of your old ingots here. And there you go. I just like I just will uh, spend the day trying to to get to understand the layout of the city, where stuff is. If if we need to to run, he would know where to. If the cops come after you guys, um, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely an option. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna hop over from that to uh, Abner. Abner, so you probably have made your way to like the the market area where you were told to look for people um, to talk to, uh, and you see a couple stands off to the side. Uh, uh, let me double check the information I give you, but. You, there's no, like, wagons or pack animals or such. Because um, the roads are too narrow for it. And mm -hmm. typically they're too slick for it as well. Because it rains a lot here. Or at least in the half of the day you've been here so far. it's It started raining at least twice. Um, Good thing so, I got a cloak. Yeah, exactly. So you made it to the merchant area and such. Uh, what would you like to do? Like, are you... Do we didn't give any descriptions of, like, which merchants are actually going on this caravan. Did um, we? you got given the generic one, but typically, uh... It, it's... You can always just ask around, like, hey, I'm looking for a work as a, a caravan guard or... Help her uh, looking to go. I heard there was uh, a caravan thing going north. That's where I want to go. That kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I'll walk around. Um, I'll approach the uh, first one that I see. Walk up to him and say, Hello, how are you doing today? Ah. Uh, good, good day there. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. How about you? What brings you to a fair city? Part of my assumption, but you look like a, a traveler of sorts. I am, and I come actually uh, seeking some information. Uh, you know, I know if you want to get a good information, you seek out the merchants. Uh, that's fair enough. What can I do to help? Well, the first one is uh, I'm looking for a unique item. Looking mm. if you know or if you know any of the other fine merchants, you know, in this area, so any smoke bombs. <laughs> I knew that was coming first. Um, go ahead. You gotta talk a little bit of business. You can't just ask him straight for. No, that's fair. Next smoke bomb. Well, uh, you could probably find that around here. Uh, or uh, what? Uh, what would you be looking for it for? Like how many? Like. Um. Well, you see, uh, the second thing I'm actually, I uh, I'm looking for is uh, I'm looking to uh, for some work. Uh, you know, I do a lot of caravan t uh, type travel. Um, and I actually use the smoke bombs as a way to help potentially, you know, get away or you know cover for the caravans that I, you know, I'm a part of. Mm -hmm. So, I'm also looking for work. If you know of any caravans that, you know, would be heading north, uh, that's the direction I was kind of going. Um, and the smoke bomb just kind of helped me in the, you know, in the protection of, you know, caravans, you know, or, you know, the fe fellow merchants. I see. Uh, well, to answer your second one, uh, we... Do have, have a caravan heading north in about uh, a ten day or so, but once we get enough 
uh, merchant, so to speak, to uh, make the trip safe. We expect some coming in on, uh, like I said, about a 10 day. Um, about the Jimmy, other one. Jimmy, uh, looking, looking to hire. Oh, the, and they're always looking to hire more. And uh, as, uh, I'll, I'll look around and ask about for you, but for smoke bombs, Perfect. I personally don't have any. But I will once again ask around, and you can come and visit me tomorrow and see what uh, what people might have in stock. Perfect. Well, with that, I won't take up any more of your precious time, and uh, I'll just leave you that uh, it was nice meeting you, and uh, I'm Abner Jedi, and I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. He, he shakes it, his, your hands, and... Uh, Pleasure meeting you too as he introduces himself as Yeah. At Akreni uh Illiton. He's a human male. He's like I I was looking uh looking to move forward and uh Ten day myself, so I might have to hire you myself. Either way, we'll see. As I leave, I'll give him uh, two silver pieces as a thank you for uh, for carrying some information for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he grabs him, snips him a little bit, sticks him in pocket. He's like, "Ah, pleasure like talking with you." Then the uh, rest of the day, I'll just say a thing. I'll kind of just scout out the uh, the city, just kind of get become acclimated with, you know, where everything is, and, you know, all that. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, let Let's go to our friendly uh, innkeeper people over at the Elf Song Tavern, Renador, uh and. Uh, Rilladar and Sithra. What are you guys doing now? Like, it's been probably about an hour. Um, Canny probably got back at this point. So let's throw Canny in there, too. Uh. Um. Do I have any money? Uh, generic <laughs> money. Oh, I do have some. Money. I have money. Um, should we? Yes. Go shopping. Yes, we should. <laughs> well, speaking of money, I just finished talking to a very nice vendor. He offered to pay me. Uh, well, he he played a little bit of hardball with me, but he offered to give me like six hundred gold for the ring. I think Boy, it's pretty right. good. Oh, uh, that ring. <laughs> yeah, the ring. Did you do it? No, no, he's gonna, like, get the cash, and then I'm gonna go give him the ring. Oh. I guess it was a huh. little bit more than, like, what he was prepared for in the moment, so. Sounds like a good deal. I mean, that <laughs> ring looked expensive. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a good sounds deal, right? That's what like I thought. Sounds like too. <laughs> oh shit, do you think he's you. gonna rob you? Not give you the oh, money? I don't... Or, yeah, I don't know. Holy shit, I never thought about that. Should we go with city. you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I'm fucking terrified now. Did, did he set a time and place, or did you set a time and place? No, we just said, come back this evening. What if I oh, go shit. there? It's like That's definitely bucks. an ambush. <laughs> we'll go with you, don't worry. Okay, cool, because like... That you know, sounds like something I would do. <laughs> oh, do I, I need think friends to be speaking. around you? <laughs> oh no, it's it's a basic bait tactic. I thought I told like I'm I'm bait normally for a lot bigger things, but oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, hmm. that's what so, that that ring is. Me, you're just sitting there dangling in front of him. I was like, because he's also probably feeling the same way about us. He doesn't really know us. We could very well show up with 18 people and rob him for the 600 gold. Oh, shit. shit. Do you now think we... if we all show up, it's going <laughs> to... Yeah. Are we going to... Am I going to be like, hey, 
just here to check out the place and make sure you don't have any thugs waiting for me. And then say, I got a couple friends outside who want to meet you. And maybe that'll sound a little bit too aggressive. I don't know. Oh, no. Uh... I was like, I was like, we can go with you and stay close. And all you have to do is holler and we'll be right there with you. Yeah, all right. It'll it'll be fine, right? Of course it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like like we can go in with it with good faith, but I mean, like what cause... what what if we me and me and Sethra, me and you Sethra, we go in before Annie goes in, and we're like browsing the shelves, right? So we're we're an unrelated party. We're just there. Yeah, I mean, that sounds safe. Yeah, it sounds good to me. And then we mug the homeowner and Canny, and we get both <laughs> both items. I was like, and then that, that Canny's... might just end with our death. <laughs> and Canny's absolved of any crime, and he they don't know who we are. We didn't introduce ourselves. Well, I'm so. either gonna have to hit Canny really hard, or Canny's gonna have to try to hit us really. Well, he's gonna have to try to hit one of us really hard, and we're gonna have to hit Canny really hard. That's true. I... Is there another plan where no one gets hit? Uh, yeah, we can just do the deal. I was I was joking, anyways. You know, I am uh, so nervous. You know, it's always great when your players give you an idea that you didn't have yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start that out straight in the room. I mean, that would be a one hundred percent plan. I mean, I think you do it because then you can take it back to the mirror and get the reward for finding his uh, lost island. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just go back to the mayor and snitch. Triple down on the reward? Holy shit. We could, we could go back to the... We could sell it. Go back to the mayor. Tell, hey, mayor, we found your ring in a pawn shop, but it was and too expensive escape. for us. <laughs> if you give us the money to buy it back... <laughs> we'll definitely bring it back here. <laughs> and then we pawn it again. You guys are terrible people. <laughs> for more. Who's supposed to be the hero here? I don't think any of you guys are the good guys. Well, we're like fighting the worst guy, uh, so... Is it like a self-contained pyramid scheme? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the group, Dom. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I can make one of you invisible. <laughs> I, I would like to point out that Michael, as a player, is not very uh, charismatic to convince people with stuff. He tried to tell cult members that we were going to perform cult rituals out in the woods at away from them they're like why not it, well we always perform the rituals and he's like um uh, uh, uh. We're shy. yeah i think it we was were trying we were to escape after successfully sneaking in and doing our mission it was the escape and i fumbled it it was and, horrible and a silver jacket attack oh yeah he ran away i'm so. um going out for ice cream <laughs> That would, that have, been would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. So you guys have at least a plan for later. Um, hey, did you guys get a get us a room for or like a place to stay for for while we're here? Uh, no. Yeah, I think so. Oh, did I, we? I mean, so uh, one we? of the rules that I like to use, I don't have it in my rules, but um, I generally assume that you guys pick up random loot. Like, that you guys don't mention, like, pieces of the Vespoids, for example. And you guys auto-sell that to pay for rooms and stuff. That makes At sense. least the rooms. Um, that prevents you guys from saying, Hey, I, I want to pick up all five of these short swords. And then look for a blacksmith to sell these short swords. Oh, so. I need to get more flasks. Because I used... Oh yeah, my... we talked about that because we filled up all the ones with best boy to... Yeah, and so I need to get more for my potion. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Who knows, this pawn shop might have some. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll see if the pawn shop has some of this glass. Uh, right now or later on when you go? La uh, later on. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure... That will, that will be a that genuine be reason we'll be to be there. Yeah. Perfect. We're master criminals. Because I also need potions. Uh, and it's probably at this point that Avner and Alistair both show up back. Um, from different directions. Uh, 
Uh, so you got your pieces of iron and whatnot, and you at least got the general look around the city. Why, uh, Ab Abner, you at least have talked to the merchants. They told you they'd talk to you again, I believe, later or tomorrow. Yep, and tomorrow. you got uh, the general, at least local layout. Um, you probably would have picked up more of the, um, City guards aren't the people who patrol Lower City. It's the Flaming Fist that does, a mercenary uh, group. Um, just from your what you look for. Okay. Uh, just as a, a general knowledge thing. Um, I don't think any of you guys have been to Baldur's Gate before. Anybody can correct me if that's false for their personal character. Um, maybe Sithra has. Because she's been out at sea, and this would have been like the port city she used. Maybe mm -hmm. Waterdeep instead. Either way. I was just about to say, I would have stopped at a lot of cities, but it wouldn't have been much. It would have been hours off the deck and back to what we were doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll hang around with you guys for today if you want to do anything, but... Uh... Maybe tomorrow I'm going to go see if uh, Baldur's Gate has, like, a Thieves' Guild or something like that, or uh, an Adventurer's Guild. Uh, cool. And, um, you know, just, like, let them know uh, we're available for stuff, right? Because uh, we're going to be here a couple of days. Abdo, yeah. you do remember that they were talking about a town hall, uh, probably in Upper City, that might have a Baldur's and Bird with some jobs. Um... So oh, yeah, you, go you do clear out a cave of goblins and then come back. I'll overlay, overlay that information. Um, also, when I get in, uh, so how'd you guys' day go? I got some, hopefully, maybe job with this uh, need of ours. I haven't started looking into that much yet, just trying to take care of a couple loose ends. Uh, but if, I, if we do I, have, like, um, you know, uh, 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 thieves, no, I keep saying thieves guild, <laughs> guilty <laughs> conscience here, it's you guys, you're a bad influence on me. Boy, uh, if, if I can find a, an adventurer's guild here, uh, you know, like, I could, I could rely on some of my, uh, my old contacts, you know what I mean? Like, we, we could hang out there, That's, that shouldn't be a problem at all, we could lay low if we need a place. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's not like the town hall. We could get information and potentially some jobs. So, if not, I'm sure they would know the where uh, the Adventures Guild would be. Yeah, yeah. Like we, the the bulletin board is gonna have like, you know, jobs. But if we want to be a little bit more low key, we can. Uh, we can see if uh, my extended contacts have any reach up here. It's up to you guys. I'm also good to just, you know, hang around or, or see if we can uh, secure our spot on that convoy. Well, I'm meeting back with a uh, merchant tomorrow. He's uh, Asking around for some information um, about uh, potential spots, and if so, I could potentially see if he uh, has spots for all of us. When I uh, talk with him again tomorrow. Well, that's perfect. All right, so that we get that thing in motion, and then uh, in the meantime, we just got to keep ourselves busy. Well, I got nothing else for today, so uh, I'll follow you. Let's go find something fun to do. Woo! Yeah, can Candy loves fun stuff like pit fights. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with you guys, but I'll I'll uh, keep my hood up in case the guards come. I'll go with you because if something crazy happens, I want to be there. Which which guards uh you saw you? I don't the know. Actual guards? I ran away before guards? they saw me, but those kids saw me. Fair enough. Uh, 
Go ahead, um... Roll me a, a history, uh, Avna. Let's see if you would have known, known anything about the Flaming Spit. Yeah. So you know that without an immediate, like, thing to hold their attention, the fla if it was the Flaming Fist the kids went and got, they probably aren't looking for him. Just because they feel like it's probably beneath them. Um, just from your standard maybe seeing them from afar that seems to be their the mood so he's probably safe though if he keeps making the same mistakes that could change uh, Ooh, they're the they they those guys look like the local uh muscle around here you know what i mean like there's the town guard and then there's the like more elite kind of guys we don't want to piss them off yeah, those, uh, I think the Flaming Fists, uh, they seem to, uh, patrol the Low City. When I was out and about, saw them all over the Low City. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here. Apparently that job board's in the Upper City. Let's go take a look at that. Can we get into the Upper City? Is it cordoned off? There's only one way to find out. Reserved for the rich and powerful. All we have to do is find two buildings, and I'll make a pass. <laughs> Alright, how's it go? And we will uh... walk across. <laughs> two tall buildings. This is why I'm glad we're in Baldur's Gate. I actually know a little bit about Baldur's Gate. Um... I am trying to get to a certain piece of knowledge. But it's not that it actually give me the easy to find information for myself. Um, but yeah, you guys start heading, heading towards, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stop looking. It's not giving me the easy knowledge. You guys start heading towards the upper city, which is past these walls. Uh, you guys um, notice that there are guards at the gate um, as you are coming up. They don't, they're not really stopping people, but they are like randomly stopping people kind of thing. Oh no. They're a dog. Do you want to be invisible? No, it's fine. Okay. Just I didn't do anything me. wrong. It's not illegal to talk to children. <laughs> okay, I want everybody to roll me a d20. <laughs> I was just oh, about to that. say, I can get Wizak to bark at somebody. <laughs> Michael, I can't make this up. Ben's bark. I, I can't make this up, Michael. I Why did I roll so bad and you guys roll so good? <laughs> I get randomly stopped oh, because I yeah. rolled poorly. Yes. Racial profiling. I mean, it is random. I, I do love that the both elves rolled the same 14. He was standing there and he went, one, two, three, four, you. Yeah, no, literally. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys start to make your way through and the guard's just looking at you guys and... It is a god, not a flaming fist member, uh, Abner. You do notice that. As uh, you go to go by Renadol, he, he holds his hands up and is like, what? Sorry, Hello? we have to randomly pick out so many people to make sure they're on the up and up going to the upper city. Oh, gotcha. Uh, what, we all have our quotas. No problem at all, man. What, what's, sir. Just looks at you. He's like, what's your business in the upper city? Uh, it's my party are... card. Wh what? No, no, I'm not. Hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I am. He 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 looks at his friends like, "What's the gate? I'm do I'm gonna pat him down and stuff." And he just walks over and starts patting okay. you down. Oh, that tickles. Nice. This. Making sure you don't have anything too dangerous on you. Let me see what you have that he might find offense to. Oh. 
<laughs> it might find a fence too. It's scary. Uh, he. No, I'm not gonna be uh, that much of an a hole. He he's gonna um. The, oh, I do think. Uh, so I have the Vespoid poison in my inventory, but I don't think I actually have it. I think uh, think Kenny, think Kenny took the Vespoid poison. I got. I do have a lot of them. I don't know if it's all of them. I have yep. nine vials. That would be yes. all of them. So. That's all. He. I just had it in my inventory. You know, honestly, he. That's probably best because he might have cocked an eye on that. Yeah. But checking you, he doesn't notice anything too bad. He's like, I'm, I'm just, just an adventurer. I'm here to check the job board if there is one. Is there a job board, good sir? Yes, there is one in the uh, town, uh, the city hall. You know, I, I think I found this for myself, though. And he pulls out two gold from your pocket and slips it into his own. That's fucked up. <laughs> and he just like, you're free to go. Okay. If I, Michael, did they have an issue with you in the Baldur's Gate game too? Uh, or was that I somebody would, else that they had an Mavicost issue with? was kind of an asshole, so probably. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember they had an issue with somebody, and it'd be hilarious if it was you both times. <laughs> I just have one of those faces, I guess. Uh, Baldur's Gate is not your city. But with that, you are two gold poor, but yeah, you are through I the are, gate. I lowered my gold amount. Yep, but... you're through the gate. Everybody's perfectly fine otherwise. It's do funny because I would Do we see this exchange? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you guys, you guys uh, the more perceptive of you guys, so I can't, I need to just pull you guys to the map at this point so I can easily look down and see your guys' passives, but... Uh, I believe Alistair probably would have, but he might not actually have realized what exactly went on. I thought uh, they were flirting. Oh, well, yeah, probably. I've okay. got marks on my token, and I don't know what they are. <laughs> You're obviously fireball and Spells like that, that you have. How do I get... Oh, how do you do that? Effects. Really? Yep, they oh. were effects. Okay, cool. Um, so let's see. Other than Alistair, um, Sithra, you you see the pat down for what it is. You you saw the exchange of the unwilling exchange of money. But at the yeah, same time, also he watched doesn't... him walk through the gate. Yep, he walked through the gate. He was all fine. So, all in all. A little bit of money is not going to hurt him. See, guys, they're not looking for me. It's fine. I say that away from the guard. <laughs> Just like, five feet away like, from the guard. Oh, See, a guys, while. Uh... A while later. <laughs> Shit, man. That was... That's really messed up. That is messed up. He stole my gold. Yeah, he stole, stole it. You? Want me it to was... go and take it back? It was like a pickpocket, but like he didn't even hide it. He just did it. He said, "What are you gonna do about it?" No, don't, I don't get it back. He's a guard. What are you gonna fight the city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's mean... what happened, right? I'm confused. <laughs> I think we're all confused. I guess that's just uh, how they do business around here. But let's just be thankful we didn't all have to pay the toll. I guess, but uh, hey. Let's go make some of it back. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. <sighs> for my guard, bodyguarding fees, uh, I charge uh, two gold. <laughs> when we start to walk away, I'm going to lean in to run it all. I can whisper in this. Yes, you can. Slash uh, W space. Uh... Oh, a whisper. That's a tickle. Of course, Michael has the longest name both way on Foundry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's on purpose. Well, no, he prefers Michael over Mike, so I put his preferred name in now. He just chose Renadol to go with that. Longer names are more important. 
They're more that, official. That should be Mike the Game Master. Grandio. Dio? That's not a long name. Though he is important. Mm. Now I want stats for Dio. I might have to have that requested. Get to the end of course of Strahd. It isn't Strahd. It was Dio. He applauded with Strahd. But it was me. <laughs> Dio. <laughs> exactly. Now I want that to I be want, a thing. I really want to take that. That'd be terrifying. Now I just want to rewatch re -watch Pick of Destiny. <laughs> I mean, that's always a good movie to watch. Okay, but, uh... You whispered to him, um... But anything else? Nope, off to find whatever our fun time is gonna be. You can pay for silence? I say very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes you can. <laughs> That's a life lesson. Thank you. Next yeah. kids I'll see next kids I see I'll <laughs> make sure I pay them for their silence. Yeah, next time they That's won't snitch on you if worrisome. you were to give them the two gold. I yeah. offered them you money. I walked them. up to them and said, hey, kids, I'm going to give you money for something. And then they ran away. <laughs> and then the next sentence is going to be, but you can't tell anybody about it. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. We don't yeah, want them word to get around anybody. town that we're looking for the thing. I, listen, us. I'm not from a big city, but I know that even kids in our area, if they get told that from a stranger, like one of the first things they have to do is like run away. I don't understand. Awesome. I'm a nice guy. Did you also give them candy? I didn't have any on me. That's a good idea, though. I'll see if I can pick up some candy. Where did uh, you come from, <laughs> Uh, The forest, mostly. Didn't meet many strangers in the forest, did you? No. Aren't they all strangers in the forest? One too many. One too many strangers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's right. n it's not too far to the gate when you guys come across uh, uh, a a big grandiose building. Uh, it's probably right about here. So let me uh, let me move this here. So you're probably right about there now. Um, you see a a, a big old building. And it does seem to be a. A bulletin board out front that is that has like a little roof over it to protect it from rain and stuff, and there's several jobs pinned up on the um the board, including a little like put aside part of the board that says special offers. Ooh, let's take a look at that. Oh, special offers yeah. for special people. <laughs> That's us. So as you walk up to the board and you look at the special offers. You see, um, that there's, like, an attendant or something that's walking outside, and she sees you looking at it, like, Oh, uh, hello there, can I, uh, can I help you guys? Oh, you know, just looking at the, uh, the job board here, but I noticed this little, like, pristine section. What's this about? Oh, yes, those are, um, slightly more dangerous jobs for slightly better pay, uh, they are unique too. Uh, we only have one at the moment, but it's uh, a special job. It comes with a, it comes on a scroll. They call it a, a scroll of service, and when you activate it, it takes you to the job site for you to complete, and then you go back when you're done. Oh, that's interesting. What is the job? Nifty as hell. I believe they've had. Let me let me get the information. Boom! I think that's it. Yeah. I so I believe. Just I believe they had a, a survey team of some kind that ran into uh, a monster, and before they knew it, everybody had passed out or got so confused that they don't remember much. And they want somebody to go and take care of the monster. 
before uh, before it hurts anybody. Well, I mean, uh, can can we interview anyone from the previous expedition, or is it just like a dive head first thing? I believe it's a dive. I did tell you it was a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sounds like it. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, uh, we we were looking for fun, right? Yeah, it's always exciting. Oh, I'm game. Uh, I like it. Like on a scale of one to twenty, how dangerous would you say this is? Uh, Roll a d twenty. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> what are you aiming for? One to twenty. Uh, like, like say rival. there's say there's four adventurers <laughs> fighting <a> this 13. thing, <laughs> and like they're they're fair like a little bit powerful. Could all four of them take on this thing? Uh, possibly, but look, you don't. You guys don't have four. You have six. Oh, that's true. Wait, can can he counts? What, what, one, two, three, four, five. What do you mean six? Oh, hey, where'd you come from? And there's a Limnos at the back of the group. He's always been there. I've always been here. I mean, you guys did leave me outside because I refused to wear pants, so I had to find you guys. But I've always been here. I can understand not noticing you because honestly, I try not to notice. You have the, to wear the, pants. The pantsless. I. You can, I'm begrudgingly wearing them. I, I oh, have pants on. That's true. Did the, did the guard stop you too? No, no, he got into Upper City just fine. Yep. <clears throat> they didn't have anything to frisk. No, I don't know. <laughs> did you hear that part? They're, they're, they're actually, they're they're actually the ones that gave me the pants to get into the city. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's nice of them. They're like, look, we don't want to deal with this. Just get this and go. <laughs> We're going to get you an enchanted belt that makes it so you're always wearing pants. Can we get an enchanted belt that casts, like, major illusion? So I illusion look like I'm always... <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it would be the same. It would only be... A hat of disguise. It would only be awkward when somebody pats you down. Right. And, I mean, that's their choice. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I'm... I'll uh... just spam cast minor illusion for him. <laughs> uh... Anyways, you guys can take the scroll of uh, service if you would like. Yeah, is there like a, a backing out clause in this thing? Like, uh, uh... I don't believe you come back until the job's done. That's Holy fucked up. Shit. We can't like run away. You could run we away. You can always run away. We just I, don't but know. But not magically. Be. Just not magically. Where um, is it taking us? Uh, they look at it. They call it the Jurassic Frontier. No idea what that is. Dinosaur. <laughs> can I do a history? No idea. On, can I do a history on that? So uh, it's not ahead. in the local area? No, it magically takes you there. Go ahead, uh, Abner. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not local because it's a teleporting thing, right? <laughs> uh, you're, you're pretty sure, Abner, you've heard about it. It is decently close. <laughs> I think it's easy also. What was that, Tim? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's close, guys. It should be fine. Alrighty, sign us up. Yeah, I mean, I trust you. After you know what you're talking about, <laughs> you've never steered us wrong before. We'll just walk back if it's not nice. Yeah, exactly. It's like a block away, right? <laughs> What's a block? She she, uh, she shrugs. She's like, okay, I'll I'll go let uh my boss know that somebody picked up that job. Can we purchase the death insurance? We don't have to find jobs. The caravan. <laughs> That's true. Worst case, we don't have to deal with the world ending. <laughs> Is that worse? Because if you die and you piss off the goddess, this, man. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure she can just pluck your souls. Well, oh yeah, no. I guess in this world, death does not mean that you just escape shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which I should know since I'm uh <laughs> you, my my past has <laughs> been yeah. close through me. <laughs> that, that's my favorite part. Warlocks a hundred percent are not free to go once they die. <laughs> Their souls belong to somebody else. 
<laughs> Their objective is to stay alive for as long as possible. Yeah. That's why most warlocks try to become a lich. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That damn legacy of my family. They just keep popping up. I'll have you know Bahamut has ownership of my soul. I'll be fine if I die. All right, well, I'm not looking to die anytime <laughs> soon. But uh, let's, let's go take care of this job. Without dying. Now, do you want to do it immediately, or do you think you might want to do stuff before you go? Right now, Yola. Wait, what if we miss the meeting with yeah, your Yeah, we creditor? gotta do the ring deal. We got the ring deal. We got a couple things that we said we we're gonna be back tomorrow or tonight, right? That's yeah, true, mine, yeah. Mine's tomorrow morning. Or... How long could this mission take, realistically? I mean, it's probably fine, right? It's just a mile away out of the city, right? Something like that. I don't know. Okay, hold on a second. What are we doing? Like, what? What does it say on the on the posting? Deal with a monster. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. I find, don't find, track, and kill mon the monster. Oh. Find, track, kill. Find, track, kill. All right, that could. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we don't know where it is, uh, it's and... probably about noon for you guys now. You guys have oh. spent the last several days traveling via boat, mm -hmm. so maybe we take the night, get our errands run, and start the mission fresh tomorrow morning. Unless we could talk to the people that I know they like don't remember much about it, but if we can talk to the people that did it before, maybe they can at least describe the area they were in. Yeah. Uh, you get the sense from her what she said is that those people are not in this town. Those people are dead. <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Their return scroll returned corpses. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, take care of our uh, loose threads, and then we'll we'll be back. Uh, there, uh, go back to the lady for a second. There's no like time limit on this, or or is it just here for whoever comes and takes I, it? You can take it with you, though. It would be awfully rude of you to like not like we we have the gold here, so we like obviously you have to come back with the finished thing to prove that you're done oh no we we totally want the job right but uh, so long as we got like a, a day or so to to get our bearings and then you know uh get on top of things well, exactly. yeah you you could take it with you perfect convenient all right well we'll uh we'll let you know when we're ready to to head off of, with it but uh until then uh, you take care of yourself <clears throat> Okay. So you guys Jurassic... start heading back. <laughs> this Jurassic World does uh, seems very interesting. What does Jurassic mean? Mm. Not the game to mine. You guys get back to the gate um, without any issue. There seems to be different guards at this point. You guys have spent enough time up there. Oh, uh, shit, another two gold. Here we go. No, <laughs> nobody was randomly picked this time. Uh, yeah, they get you on the way in, not the way out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're not looking for troublemakers on the rich side of town. <laughs> Uh, you get you get through. You head back to the tavern. It's probably afternoon by this point. A lot of walking through the city. They don't have public transport systems. The roads aren't big enough for a wagon. Oh. Very thin, uh, very narrow roads. Sky gondolas. Maybe you should invent that, little doll. It's a good idea. But if you do, the GM demands uh, revenue and royalties off of it. It's fine. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh. I don't know if you guys have anything else you want to do today, but uh, until Kenny has to meet this guy later on in the evening, uh, he'll just use a little bit of his time to maybe track down wherever the 
adventurer's guild is because he wants to be able to rely on his uh what's it called uh safe haven feature do you want me to put it in chat yes please that's the faction agent background yeah. so so you just want to look around to see if you can find the, the guild in general yeah, don't want to call in any favors yet. Just know where it is if we need it. Okay. Yeah, and you there's probably one in the lower city. Um, there's probably one, I believe. Let me double check because I have to switch my vision uh, to see. Yeah, okay. Um, It's down off the docks he, down here near where you guys entered. There's one, it's near, um, it's near, uh, uh, like a, a tavern that's on a boat right here. So, it's nearby there. Sweet. There's a general knowledge thing. Let me put it like an X here. Uh, free hand. Like there. I don't know why I'm white all of a sudden on a color, but that's fine. It's the holy church. Yeah, exactly. Um, what about anybody else? We rate eighty on anything particular? Uh, where they distribute booze to other places, because that place will have all the booze that they make here, and. <laughs> I can buy and hoard cool, like cool the sale. goblin I am. Do you I don't think I've find... ever had anyone ever in my history of playing D and D ask for wholesale booze. Yeah, welcome to my friends, Dom. Jeez, hey, it's just convenient. I mean, because <laughs> I was like, oh, I we should find somewhere to like. I mean, I mean, they got to make liquor in this town. And I'm like, well, what if they make wine? And I'm like, well, somebody sells all this. And I'm like, well, somebody exports it all. I'm like, we should find that guy. <laughs> what if people go to the bar for the people? No, that's crazy. <laughs> well, it's like, we can't get drunk. It's too early and I have to be responsible. I mean, it's I mean, they never drink too enough early. Knock their shakes off, but think, think about it. It's never too early. Like they don't like serve soda at places. Like you're drinking wine at places. So well, that's what I said. I've been drinking all day. I gotta knock the shakes off. But <laughs> um, so you're looking for um bulk alcohol? Not necessarily. I mean, I guess that would be the. I, I went with the distributor because he would also be close to where we're the exporter, I guess, because he would also be close to where we're at. Like, that it makes sense for the guy who ships booze to other places to get it near the water so he can put it on the boat. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I'm looking for, like, the guy who exports the products made here to other places. Yeah, and I think um, you probably do find somebody probably at that it, that tavern that's on a boat in the water there. Uh, it's called the uh, um, the Low Lantern. Uh, they do a couple things here, like there's um, a loan shark in this place, uh, but and the more upper docks, uh, like the upper dock of the ship. There is, um, you could probably talk to somebody who is more of a distributor. What are you, what are you looking for? Like I said, I'm just looking for, like, I, I guess the best of what they make here as booze-wise. Wine, I don't know whether it would be gin or rum or... Um, I, I, have, here is like I have rum, I have is. mead, ale. Uh, I really just, gin. Yeah, I just want, I just want some of the best of it. Like, I mean, I guess, you know what I mean. 
I, I'm talking to the man, so I'm prepared yeah. to spend a respectable amount of yeah. money. I'm just roll me a persuasion, and roll me a d100. Pretty good persuasion. Okay. So he's like... It's not the finest you'll get in this city. But I have... Some bottles of some fine wine. How many are you looking to get? They're gonna cost you... Let's see. Um, where's my mouse? I need my mouse. There it is. I hate when your mouse decides to go on its own. Uh, and they're like, fine wine. And I like the cut of your gem. Mm, I'll cut you a deal. It's going to be about 12 gold a bottle. Um, I'll take six of them then. Yep. And these are 24 ounce bottles. Give or take. So, you have six bottles of fine wine. I'll trust you to subtract gold. Uh, other than that, you, you head back with your wine. They're all like tied together in nice, safe, uh, hard glass bottles so that they shouldn't easily break. All nice, stop it up. Uh, six of them, you probably have a small crate with some straw in it just to carry them for now until you distribute them because none of you have a bag of holding yet. I was about to say that's sort of why I went with the six is because I would get the box that they came in as well. <laughs> yep. It's not a huge box, but it's a fairly decent one with some like straw in there to keep it all safe. Um, so after about an hour and a half of after you guys get back in the afternoon, uh, Sifta comes in with uh, a small crate. Um, what are you guys doing during the time where Sifta was looking for alcohol and whatnot? Um, do I have half a day worth of work left before we have to go knock um... the peasants or, I mean, uh, do the deal? Oh, I, I now I definitely need to do what I was thinking. Um, I think you probably don't have a full half day. Like, but if you, what are you trying to do? Maybe you could split it. Oh, I have, uh, I have half a day of potion making done for a potion from the two and a half I'd days. say you oh. have, um. A third of a day worth, and then you could probably finish the rest on your long rest. Perfect. Um, you just wouldn't have it for whatever you plan on doing at the pawn shop. No, just trying to keep working through the potion crafting. That's all. Uh, what about anybody else? Abner, uh, Alistair, Kenny. Well, Kenny no, went out looking for the adventurous place. Yeah, yeah. Time. I'll say Kenny used up his time doing that. Okay. Uh, what about you, Alistair? Abner? Um, Abner and Tim are both eating currently. Okay. Enjoying a nice meal. Listening yep. to the haunting music being sang through. Beautiful elven voice. You understand the whole hey. song. Hey, it's touching. Very touching. It very much is. Uh, what about you, Alumnos? I would be taking the time to be sitting, crafting, or making some arrows for anybody that in our group that might need them. Just to pass the time while I sit there and talk to my tea as it moves around. At least that Just hasn't changed on you. Right? Like, a friend is a friend, no matter what. No matter what form. And another so I, I, I don't know if bucket. anybody needs arrows. Does anybody uh, shoot, I think use they arrows? went bolts where uh, Canny. Canny needs yep. bolts. And Sethra can would... use arrows. And I think so can... Yeah, I know. would need arrows because now my packed weapon is able to be a bow. Yeah, and you can't make arrows with packed weapon. 
I was like, funny enough, I, I did pick up a bow at some point in time. I had 15 arrows, a, but I throw other stuff, so. As part of a short rest, I can make 5. As part of a long, I can make 20. Yeah, so that's real useful. Honestly, people need to do that more often. <laughs> <clears throat> right? Like, I mean, it says you need to have enough wood on hand, so if I have to go buy some wood, Yeah, sure, but it's going to be cheaper to buy wood than to buy arrows. Right. Um, then you can follow surplus. But, yeah. Uh, so you're doing that. Uh, what about you, Alistair? You hear, Luca? You're muted if you are here. I'm going to assume he maybe got called away. So we'll assume that he's uh, talking to his friend. And, uh... Oh, there he is. Luca? What is Alistair doing? Okay. He, he might be talking to his friend. He might be having computer issues. He was saying it was messing up earlier. Um, either way, until he contradicts me, I'm going to assume he's talking to his friend in the common room. Maybe enjoying a drink. Um, when Sithra, you and Candy both get back, probably slightly different times, uh, Candy probably gets back a little bit sooner. Even though you guys were in the same area, you were kind of weighed <laughs> down by boxing. Oh, you there, Luca? Yeah, I'm sorry. My, yeah. my headphone was plugging out. Oh, you're good. Uh, what would Alistair be doing during, like, the hour and a half of downtime? The two hours. I'll probably just be hanging out with everyone if and just like looking and paying attention to everyone around us to see if anything's happening that we should know. Okay. So basically what I assumed, you sitting there talking to your friend and <laughs> enjoying the company of the common room. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Kenny, you get back and then probably 15 minutes after you, Sithel gets back with a small crate. Uh, you guys are free to do whatever you want, then. Hey, uh, you think it's time to go check on that, uh, pawn shop and see if we can maybe get rid of this thing? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say. Do you want to just hang out here for, like, 10 or 15 minutes while we start walking, and that way you're not, like, just hanging outside the store, or... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. That sounds. And like that good. way we can be in there for a minute and then be browsing and stuff. And all right, I'll hang out and I'll uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Oh yeah, and should we approach from two different sides of the street, like two different directions? I don't think it's gonna matter all like that. Oh yeah, true. I'm over here. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, do we know where this pawn shop is? It can't even well, it's, it's just toys? right, yeah, it's right out behind uh, the inn here, so it's not hard to find. What if we go to a different pawn shop? That'd be I, the... I hope you don't. <laughs> Alright, we're on our way. <clears throat> okay. So you guys get there, you probably see the same pawn shop. There's some interesting stuff inside and around um but you guys get there a little bit earlier than candy as planned you could probably do some shopping for some flasks uh one a doll like you said yes i am buying lots of flasks how many does he have um they probably have something give like... me all the flask you have um... i think you've heard give me a lot of flasks <laughs> Roll me a D6. A D what? A, a D6. Roll me a D6. Six. Yeah. So they have six empty uh, vials and such around. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm buying all of them. Okay. Yeah, you could buy all of them. Uh, let me see. Uh... uh... You're looking at... They're real cheap. They're like a... A silver piece. Yeah. I, I um... They're in the equipment shop. Oh, yep. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, other than that, let's see. You see. Uh, yeah, you probably are just looking around then why, uh, in, at this point, Tanny, you walk in. Hey, knock, knock. Hello. Mr. Pawn Shop owner. Sorry I didn't catch your name earlier. Oh, welcome back. I, I built up, uh, the money I, I owed you. Did you bring back the ring? Absolutely. Here it is. Uh, and... He, he takes it back. He's like, ah, oh, thank you. And he puts it under the counter and he pulls out a, a pouch of gold at the agreed upon price. Perfect. Uh, out, uh, I mean, just before getting into the pawn shop on my way over. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Run it all and sit there. I've made uh, Candy extremely nervous about the whole thing. Did I clock anyone on my way in? Um, well, me a perception. Let's see. <laughs> oh boy. Um, you see, you probably see like two random people. They, they don't look like muscle thugs, but they look as dangerous as you do. Yeah, Kenny doesn't feel that way though. He like clenches the ring in his pocket and speed walks into the, into the pawn shop. <laughs> so, so back in there, he, uh, uh, yeah, he produces the ring. He, he gives it over to the pawn shop owner and says, "I it's it's exactly uh, as you said. You know, like I, I I talked to a couple buddies about it, by the way, too, and and they said it was a a very good deal. So I I really appreciate your honesty here." He's like, "There's no need to be nervous. I wouldn't have gotten to this point in my career if I double crossed everybody that came in trying to sell something." Well, I, I'm just new to town. I don't know how these things work. I've never done anything like this before. I, can, I hope I you can, can understand tell, that. Like, you, you look like you're... Like, if you want a tiefling, I'd say you're shredding bullets. It might be grease or something at this point. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not used to dealing with tieflings too often. Never oh. mind that. Besides the fact, if I wanted to double-cross you, I would have met you at the Song Tavern, where I know you're staying. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, that was supposed to make me feel better about the situation. Exactly, that, you know... and he puts his hand on your shoulder. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with this. Uh, and for you guys, uh, you guys obviously re watch this, Renadol. Uh, Sithra, for you, you actually see off to the side a, a set of armor that looks nice and fancy. I think I can. Oh, I showed everybody, but that's fine. Wait, who sees it? Uh, Sithra does. That's. I like to Dumb. think that I have like an arm full of javelins and spears, and I just like waddle over, still holding these, to look at this. Oh, Mike, what are you doing? I'm doing what nothing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What What are you looking at, Sithra? This armor. I mean, looks in a bit better shape than what I'm wearing. Uh, you can tell by looking at it, it is light armor of some kind. I'm gonna interrupt wherever they are in the conversation to get the guy's attention. It's probably at the end when his hand is on uh, Candy's shoulder. He's like, see, it's supposed to... Candy's like, that's supposed to make me feel better? And he's like, yeah, exactly. And that's when you pop in. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and pop in whenever Sister. No, I'm, I'm like, how much do you want for this? And I'm like holding my arms full of the, like, I just have whatever javelins and spears he had just like available there, for the public. There's probably been like three or four up. javelins. 
Let's say four javelins. And what's this? Ah, that that's a, a set of armor that I procured a little while ago. It's it's pretty unique. It has magical properties on it, I believe. How much do you want for it? That is something that I'm double checking. Fourteen thousand gold. Roll me and roll me a D six. And then give me a persuasion as well. Okay. He looks at you. He's like, I did just get it. I have high hopes for this item. Uh, 350 gold. I have 320. Here you can have this gold. Uh, 30 is... No, here. Here's uh, 100 gold. <laughs> Do you say that out loud? No, to, I'm giving... Yeah, I'm giving Seth there 100 gold. Did, did you say 100 gold out loud, though? If you, uh, if you did, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> wait, what? That, so, you, you go... He's, here, hey, he's trying to haggle. Yeah, he, here, take this. Uh, take this 100 gold. That should cover it for you. And you hand it to Sithra. And the guy yeah, I do. hears that. Sorry. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? I did just get it. Let's just call it 400. And nice what? and even. What? What do you you just said three fifty? Nope. That, that's when I thought he only had three fifty. That doesn't make any nope. sense. You didn't know how much he had before. I have three twenty, and I'm not big on taking loans. So that's true. Mm. He doesn't have to take my money. So I'm just like I like I said, there's three twenty, and I'm gonna pull out my bag, and like that that's what I got. He he laughs a little bit. He's like, ah, you drive a hard bargain. And he sticks out his hand to shake yours. I'll shake his hand. And he, he'll take the gold and he's like, you're free to have it. Something tells I'm just going to like strip off my armor currently and just put on this because what I'm wearing is not very, it is very like sea worn. He's like, I will, I will charge extra if you want me to get rid of that though. <laughs> Please take it with you. Okay. Stick it up the shop. Uh, no, he's got a good point. To, maybe I can make it Wizak. Like maybe I can put it on Wizak, even just for looks or to <gasps> assist me. Try to turn your leather armor into body for Wizak. Yeah, even if it's just something that I like, I can hold on to him to. Just oh, no, we, do we'll, ta we'll talk about that uh, off off session about trying to make that. But you you've gotten the the gold for the ring. You've gotten a new piece of armor. On my way out of the shop, I'll just be like, uh, "Yeah, he's a he's a good businessman, eh? Hope you guys uh, enjoy this shop." And then I'll just like awkwardly leave them. Oh. He calls out. He's like, "It's okay. I know you guys are staying together." Gosh, fuck! Shit. <laughs> Who is this guy? Quick walk! Quick walk! Quick walk! Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> So, so you you probably have dealt with people like him before. That's why you were such a hard negotiator. You you know it's common knowledge when dealing with fence goods to know who you're dealing with. No, yeah. 
Wait, which means he actually knew we had 600 gold to spend. So well, it wasn't 10,000 gold. Yeah. yeah if you bought it, that. the price was 600. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy's shiesty. <laughs> That's how it be, man. Gotta make your dime. It's a respect game, you know? So, um, so for you, uh, Sitha, the armor effect instantly happens, but you don't know exactly <clears throat> what it is. Because you have, you don't know what it is. You just, it is, uh, it's not an attunement thing. So, uh, you get back, everybody, the ones that didn't go with them, um, they weren't gone that long, maybe a <clears throat> half hour at most. And you do see Sitha walking in with a, bundle of old armor and uh, some new armor. I well, see you guys' oh, shopping that's... trip went uh, well. You, you spent all the money on the ring? No. Well, no, we, we made money on the ring, but uh, then, you know, Sithra found something nice and wanted to uh, accentuate, you know? Yeah, I felt like my old armor was kind of cruddy. It smelled weird. It does. It currently smells weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it did not lose its smell just because I took it off. <laughs> it probably actually got worse. Oh, yeah. I can help with that if you want that to lose the smell. I don't, mm -hmm. actually, I don't know if I can make it lose the smell. I can just make it cleaner. If you don't mind. Sure. I use prestidigitation to clean it. So a lot of the grime and such gets taken off, like the old salt and whatnot. So some of the smell does wash off. Some of the smell is ingrained on it, but it's not as bad. What color is uh or was <laughs> the armor? Oh, it it was kind of like a, a greenish leather, but the color definitely lightens to a more brown. Like, the green was not a natural color of it. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty much answers my question. <laughs> Might have had some algae growing on it, you know. Yeah. And how much you guys got a lot of for time in the, the water. rest of the stuff? Well, I, I sold the, the ring uh, for a, a nice little uh, purse of uh, 600 gold coins. Ooh. Uh, as it oh, as yeah. it heads wow. up, uh, Kelly, this is technically a downgrade of armor for you because it's going from scale mail to uh, studded leather, but it does have other effects, so it might make up for you. Uh, yeah, but did you guys had like a string of pearls and a pouch of of uh, precious stones? Oh also... no, we we gave didn't we give all that back to the mayor? I thought you guys said you did. I thought you guys gave everything back except for the, uh, the ring. But I wasn't here for that, oh. so. No, I think you're right, I think you're right. I'll just, like, cross off the party loot, because it's, it's... Otherwise, I'll, I'll get even more confused. We need that current inventory party... That, that's why I uh, gave that sheet for you guys. Here we go. Huh? Wait. Is this how this works? Yeah, and then you can edit that page and just hit save and it will appear on the page. Perfect. Um, only one person can edit at a time as a warning. So, now you guys are back. It's probably getting later in the night. You guys want to uh, rest, or is there anything that we need to do uh, specifically before we go on the Jurassic journey? I do... I just have to talk to the merchant yeah. or send a message to him that I'll talk to him a few days after the trip. Was it, was it a set time? He just said uh, to come back the next day, so. I can go first thing in the morning. 
Can you send someone, or, or do you gotta go yourself? Uh, I mean, I can send somebody that will tell them that, you know, we'll talk to him later, but uh, if we wanted to leave now, or if I actually talk to him, that I could find out, you know, if we actually have jobs and whatnot before we even leave. All right, so let's try that. Let's, uh, it would just be the matter of potential information versus we'll just letting him know that, you know, we'll be on possibly for a few days. So it's just a matter of when you might want to get information. All right, so we try and hit him up in the morning, and if that doesn't work out, we leave a message for him, and then we hit the road, and we go make some more money. Sounds good to me. This feels like good, that. by the way. Now I understand why these adventurers do this. This is... That's a nice little hefty pot of gold we got ourselves here. Yeah, that was... I mean, very immoral, but, I mean, <laughs> easy money. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not judging you. I was just, you know, stating a fact, that's all. I'm feeling a little bit judged. Feeling Sorry. a little bit judged. I didn't mean... I didn't mean it. Uh, yeah, I, and I think um, you guys settle down for the night and probably uh, have a nice long rest. Um, any role play you guys want to have is perfectly valid to have right now. Um, and Sithra, I guess you don't have to attune to it, but you can identify it during a long rest. I believe that's the thing. You just run the risk, if it's cursed, that you would accept the curse by doing so. But you've already put it on, so... Yep. <laughs> uh, no, i full-blown committed. Okay. So. Uh, so, in there, you should be able to click it, Kelly, and actually read what it does then. In your inventory sheet. What the deal? Like, it's up to you if you tell everybody. Can you share what it does? I, I can share so that I don't it. have to, like, read this and everybody has to listen to me read at a third grade level. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can share it, yeah. Ooh. That's nicer. It made the text bigger on my screen, too. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> so the whole nice. way back from the shop, I was just smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this will be useful for you when uh, Abner eventually fills the room full of smoke. Was fog the same thing as smoke? Ah, uh, yeah, it's... it's... I don't see why not. Perfect. That way we can have two people capable of fighting. Which is why I told Michael about this. <laughs> My buddy told me about it, so I'm like, oh, that'd be it, perfect it's, armor. It's nice armor, and I, I like to use Griffin. I have to make sure to add that into my... Before we settle it for for the night, I'd like to try and go back to the blacksmith, see if it's empty, and then try and start working on something. Yeah, you could start probably to be into pro iron into uh, actual yeah. iron ingots. Yeah, you could probably during during your long rest, it's early in the morning, go there before they uh while they're getting everything set up, but before they start working, and you can do a little bit of work. Uh, and uh, for you, Abner, a you guys can all have a long rest. Nothing's going to interrupt you guys. Even though I do have a battle map for this end. So that should be fun. Um, oh, no. Yeah, no, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus is very nice with the map for this city. And But yeah, you guys can all long rest. 
Uh, and the next day, Abner, you can go and talk to your merchant friend. So as you make your way, uh, your way back, you, you see the same merchant you saw the day before, Abner. Hi, Trenny. How, how, how are you doing today? Uh, hi, welcome back. I see your prompt is as I expected. I talked around. Um, there are some people looking to hire people for this journey. Um, <clears throat> Perfect. They're mostly looking for basic guards. Uh, five, uh, five gold every ten day, plus food and living expenses. Uh, how many of you were looking for jobs? Uh, we have a party of, uh, six. I mean, if uh, they would, uh, if you know if they'd be willing to hire all of us, I'm, I'm sure all of us would, uh, gladly take, take the opportunity. Well, I'll make sure of that. Uh, I'll get down your guys' names and I'll find people who need them. Uh... And about the items you were looking for, there were a couple people around. Uh, it they're a little bit more on the pricey side. They're uh, they're about fifty gold a piece because they're hard to package together. Well, if uh, if you don't mind procuring them for me, I can uh, gladly give you the gold and uh, a load of commission price as well. I can look into that. Like, I'm never afraid to uh, be the middle person on deals like this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and hand over uh, 110 gold. Okay. Uh, to get two of them. And then um, I'll give the names of our whole party. And then I'll tell them that... Uh, if he's able to do this for us, uh, we're going to uh, step out for a day or so on a uh, quest from the town hall that uh, I'll meet up with him w once we get back. Okay. All right. It's safe journeys and whatnot. He takes the gold. He's like, I'll uh, use this to get at least two of them while you're gone. I don't have them on me, but if, I'll try to procure a couple more for you. Perfect. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in a day or two. Mm -hmm. Stay safe, and he uh, gets back to setting up his stall for today. And then I'll head back to the uh, to the inn. Okay. So, you get back to the inn, and everybody's back there. As you guys examine the scroll more, it gives the details of the quest, the same little blurb that the woman told you. And it gives instructions on how to use the scroll. Basically, everybody holds a hand that's going on the scroll. On the scroll. And if you do so, when you say the activation word at the bottom, it will take you to your location. Well, let's all hold hands. But I, I also did... Uh... Merchant was able to find some people hiring uh, mainly guards, so I gave our gave them our names, and he's going to uh, look for us to fill those uh, spots for them. So hopefully, when we get back, we'll also have the uh, guard positions uh, procured. That's nice. Good looking out. Yeah, nice work on that. So, uh, everybody, make sure you dust those clammy hands off. Grab a buddy. Here we go. Does anybody want this potion? Yes. What kind there of potion? There you go. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's for people who don't That's, ask it's questions. It's a milkshake. Fair. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, Luke definitely didn't. <laughs> Can anybody uh, 
read this command word here? It it yeah. prob it's probably a draconic word that uh, that's just um trans trans uh not transport but like translate or something like uh translation through space kind of thing. Yeah, I can read it. Alistair, can you read this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what is you asshole? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> I'll hold hands. Okay. Okay, so as you say translate, the room kind of fades a little bit as it comes, it fades in and out, in and out, as you guys leave your room. And the first thing you guys notice <sighs> Is there's sand under your guys' feet? Oh. Well, that feels different. As it is morning still. And you guys happen to be on a beach. Oh, this is great. We're not in the city anymore. I don't need to wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you I do. lose the pants. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> We're still here. You, we, you need to wear pants. You've already seen me in my duff. As I don't want to see the anymore. pants off. I'm fighting to keep the pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting yourself so close to down there? <laughs> I mean, really, you're making this worse. <laughs> Just make sure you can use it as a distraction. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I hold the dagger? I mean, you can hold a dagger if you want. Oh, no, no. hold? I mean, I don't know. Can his penis hold a dagger? <laughs> yeah, he got it. <laughs> like, like, like a tail, like a yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What's it's it called? A, like a prehensile penis. Prehensile penis. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, the, is this is this scary movie? Too? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm, I'm Emily said that. that we need to make him describe his dragon dick, nope. and I'm like, there's a current conversation going on about his dragon no, dick. No, I vetoed this conversation, no. Why would I need to detail? You can just look. <laughs> Mike's can get banned off. No, <laughs> on we ha it's perfectly fine to talk about this. I just can't show anything like this, which is fine, because I obviously have nothing it's to show. It's fine to talk about dragon dicks. <laughs> Anyways, rapidly moving on from that, now that our <laughs> Dragonborn, one of our two Dragonborn have stripped. Um, when on a beach, you're supposed to enjoy it. Is you got there a point there. door at this building yeah it seems like a a, a general like um little uh, hut type area um <clears throat> where uh, the door yeah, it's it's like strings in it's like um there looks to be a, a chest outside like right where Abno is there's a chest uh inside there looks to be like hammocks like it's a sleeping area I'll just call in. Hello, is anybody here? The door opened all by itself. You, you do not see anybody. Oh, okay. It looks like this is set up to be like an area of rest for travelers. Um, oh, that's convenient. Yeah. In the chest, Avno, because I know how you are. Hmm. Actually, uh, I'm going to call Kenny over to uh, have him check the traps this time. I'm learning. <laughs> You don't want Danny. to pick up the chest and carry it? <laughs> Can you come check this for traps? Yeah, yeah. I, have, I, have I have mage hand. Know. Do you want me to open it and see what happens? Oh, that might but, work too. <laughs> but what if the traps destroy the items inside the chest? But they wouldn't destroy us because of mage hand. True. I mean, I can take a look. Wait to get close. Go. Uh, put my hand on uh, Kenny's arm. And just say, I know you've taught this, that's okay, you can do it. And I'll cast Guidance, but instead of a, a, a like radiant light, it's just like, like um, there's a, a, a handprint, a shadowy handprint on his shoulder <laughs> for the duration of the spell. 
Ooh, fun. Uh, I need, I want a separate, let me, uh, I need to configure this because lighting it is daylight and I want it to be day. Yeah, fill it with light so that you guys actually have normal vision. Ooh, oh, so colorful. Yeah. Instead of black and white, you guys actually have normal vision. <laughs> I, was I was wondering normal. if they did something wrong on my end. Well. I wasn't. I was black and white. That's pretty. Well, you guys saw because uh, you guys shouldn't have had vision because it had no light. And you guys dragon one. I'll have to f mess with that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. In That's the power of no pants. So, go ahead and roll me an investigation. Um, yep. I did not make guidance into uh, a thing either, which I guess I should have. I'll just roll a d4 with it. Yeah. Uh, oh. Nine. So That's you fast. do not notice any traps of any kind around a chest. That you can Is see. it locked? No. Alrighty. Just pop it open. <laughs> Next, no, I'm kidding. Um, inside there looks to be, uh, six bottles of a potion of some kind. Uh, it looks to be six sets of rations. Uh, and that's about it in there. Ooh, Sithra, come take a look at these. I swear I won't steal them yet. Fine. Nothing pricey was in there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I trust those rations, but uh, the potions look okay. There's a... When you guys lift up one of the potions, there is a note underneath of it. Uh... What does it say? Let me uh, type. I'm waiting. <clears throat> so that's what you see on the note. I'll read it out loud for Alistair. Okay. So you hear uh, Avdo say... Um, these are a gift from the quest givers and will be magically returned when the quest is completed. Oh. I guess at the end it would say completed if unused. Oh, oh these are lying to me. No, no, these are, I can, I can verify that's what it says here. These are definitely use it or lose it type, uh, gifts. But does it say what it is? Nope, no. that's what the note says. Just says these are gifts. Can I do the thing where you just like uh, uh, not identify a potion, but just you can see what it is just by like I dipping your finger? Yes. I was just about to say, can we just pull out another one of the health potions and like look at the two liquids and? <laughs> well, you could, but that's not a sure science. Though, with a herbalism kit, you can uh, identify potions with 10 I minutes. can identify potions. Yeah, let's give them to our potion maker. I'm sure he could figure them out. I mean, he did test the poison last time and ingest it. <laughs> One of the two Red people who drank got it. Potions for you. I was fine. Alright, I'll, I'll walk over. Oh, these are just water. I'll hold on to those. <laughs> uh, I'll inside that one. Just joking. Uh, you can spend ten minutes and identify the potions just fine. All right. Uh, and uh, once you pull all the potions out, I think there's also another scroll um, underneath. But Whoa. as you test the potions, you find they are a greater healing potion. Whoa. All right, everybody gets one. Nice. Greater healing. Awesome. Yeah. Neat. They all use it or lose it. 
Uh, and the scroll is, um, it says in Draconic, because I assume people are going to read it out loud, that it will summon one meal for you guys to aid you on your quest. Oh, a meal to help us? Like yeah. a, like a, like a feast for kind super of, important people. Not uh, not like a heroic feast. No, like an adventurous feast. Sure, let's go with that. How do I add greater healing potions to my inventory? Uh, you should if be you able go to, to the compendium and go to my, you can go Mike stuff, all items, and drag potion healing over. Then if you edit oh. it, you can change it to any of the variables. Is greater potion not in all items? All items. No, oh. it, if you if you drag it over, and then you have to edit the potion healing that you drag over, and then you select what variant that you want it to I be. Need, I need to add, oh. complete my compendium. Thank you. Yeah. I see. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. That's what I want to go to. So, as a, a meta type thing, this is um, technically part of that Monster Hunter expansion stuff that I play. This quest and everything. I'm just shortcutting some of it to not force mechanics down your guys' throat that aren't normal D&D. Um, just so you guys can have fun with something. So, if you guys want to use potions right now the meal you guys can uh i'm just <coughs> looking at something that might and alistair just downs it <laughs> automatically uh. Hi, let's see i i think uh I think I know which meal that would, and this one would be. So, do you guys use that meal, Alvin, at all? You did pick up the... What? Do you, do you want to I use was... that meal to start the, the quest? Or? Oh. Everybody ready? Yeah. Alright, start. Okay, so when you use the scroll, like a, a picnic basket type thing appears, when you open it up, freshly cooked and like still steaming, uh, wild bacon, like plates of bacon, on the side. Mm, bacon. Holy shit. I eat bacon. <laughs> now I want bacon. <laughs> Does everybody eat the bacon? Yes. Sure. What could go wrong about yeah. eating magically summoned bacon? Yes. Okay. As I'm everybody... going out. Bacon's one way I'll go out. <laughs> right. As, as everybody <laughs> eats the bacon, everybody's movement speed increases by five for the uh, quest. Holy nice. shit. Nice. So, this is something I want to mess with after Tyranny, is do a Monster Hunter hunt or two. Normally, you would actually cool. have to roll and cook the meal and stuff, but, yeah. Magic. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to clear mechanics on you guys' throat at the moment. So. We are coming up on 10, but we haven't been, uh, we're about two hours in. Do you guys want to start this, or do you want to end here and start this next time? I'm good with whatever you want to do. Because I'm good with either. Good to go. I'm fine, too. Yeah, do I'm good for whatever. Track down dinosaurs. <laughs> you go for dinosaurs. I thought they're just big chickens. I mean, that's close. Some of them are big chickens. You're a I mean, chicken. if I if I wanted to be, I mean, I could. Uh, if I type, is that the? No, that that's not the bring. What? What the hell are you? Oh, you're a demon. Okay. I ran into the at monsters. I don't need, so I'm not going to look at them. Um, so where do you want to go? This I want to find these vines. You can 
if you want. Do I need to roll for it? If everybody splits up, this is going to be very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I see instantly three different directions being headed into. I feel like I'm this is all right. Then. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, where are we going? Also, no Baba Ganoush. No Baba Ganoush. <laughs> okay, so two of us go up down the beach and two of us go up the vines. <sighs> oh, might as well stick together. No reason to split us. So guys, come down here. We're going this way. Yeah. What way? There's nothing over there. I'll stay there's rocks. Uh, that, I'll stay there, if you can see it's through it, one. if you can see through it, it's an overhang. So there is oh. a path that way. Oh hey guys! While I was climbing these vines, there's a there's I saw a cave up on these this cliff thing. Okay, what's in there? Uh, I don't know. Go look. Can I jump? Can I jump onto the cliff? Uh, what an athletics! <laughs> Hell yeah. yes, push. <laughs> <laughs> At disadvantage. Is that, is that guidance? <laughs> I'll guidance myself. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I feel like I should mention the once per session we will at this point. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> What's the worst that will happen? You're going to fall 10 feet? Okay. But I want to get onto so the... So you manage, you manage to land, and if you go too far over there, it will auto-pull you to the new map. So you will be able to see what's inside. I might have to pull I... you over. Yeah, I can't a wall. go over there. I want to go. Oh, it auto-pulled me? Yeah, I told you it would. I believe uh, you. Go ahead, roll an ath athletics uh, set to, to make sure you make it. Oh, like we already point. lost two people. I guess they're dead to us. <clears throat> but you're going to say, okay, so row initiative there. <laughs> yep, you make it just fine. You're over there. Oh, damn. Hey, guys, we should. They're, they're going to get lost or kill themselves. Set, this setup is really cool, isn't it, Michael? I think they already did. <laughs> uh, they went up, said something about stealth? a cave, and disappeared. <laughs> Then we should go loot their bodies. Sure, you can. You can stop. Gosh, fucking damn it! Cha ching cha ching. Uh, so you guys down here. You guys can go back up. You're not stuck down here. There's a return. Uh, you guys are just in the tunnel. Oh, okay. It didn't like collapse behind us. No, right? you can. They can follow you. You can go back. But I want to see what's. Uh. What this What's going on up here? Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. Me Hold too. On. This cave is exciting. Um, uh, yeah, let me... Uh, we wait for them, or... Do you think no. they're coming? It's They're not coming. They're not following us. Hey, you are you guys alive? You jumped into the void. Yeah. I thought you guys it's were coming It's not a void, us. it's a cave. I'll just, I'll just step back outside momentarily and be like, Hey guys, get up here. There's a cool cave. Right. This is okay. cool. Now, now, please don't go forward while I go back to the other map to help them get here. Oh, you can trust us. I, I trust well, I'll trust know us. if you guys go forward. Nope. Uh, okay, anybody that wants to make the jump, go ahead and give me an athletics. Jeez, how far yeah, down is that? Can I do an one? Yeah, you can do an acrobatics oh. if you're better, sorry. Oh well, you I you passed up a, you you passed up at eleven. It was only oh, a okay. ten. So just Yay. go ahead and move up. It won't let me. Oh, it this square heel. By the way, that it will wow. lead. Does uh -huh. it backflip uh -huh. across the gap? Uh, you make it, and you candy. Did you roll and make it? Hey guys. Uh, yeah, athletics or acrobatics. I don't know why I can't move over. But... Oh, because there's a wall there, and I have to drag you guys through it. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. So, uh, let's do acrobatics. Okay, you make it. So, if you guys step right there, you go there. Kind of a tight fear. fit here, huh? I don't know. We're yeah, close to so, each other. Uh, no, 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 what's cool don't about this me. tunnel? Are you wearing pants? No. Currently, he, he, no. He pants. said no. I'm, I'm definitely not standing next to him. Ooh. The concept of pants are wasted on me. I have not worn them in centuries. Oh shit, I moved back, backs. <laughs> you can go through, don't worry. 
Yeah, no, I set it up that way so you guys could transition. Down That's here amazing. it is dark, so the two oh, people yeah. without dark vision, who I am that editing. Uh, well, see, about that. Oh, I do. <laughs> you don't. I don't? No, he doesn't. Uh, but I can't. Me... I'm currently seeing just fine. Wait, who can't see? I can I can take the lead if you guys want. Why, why is it not like locking your vision? I oh, had, no, it, before Renandall leaves, I'll, updated. I'll uh, tap him and cast light so he has he can see. Okay. So, so oh, he's going to emanate light. Okay. Yep. 2020. Okay, so you emanate light now. So, Kenny, there's two ways we can do this. Either you go in front and we try and be stealthy and I go last. Or I go front so I'm the first one to be hit. Um, well, if we're hunting, which I think we are, we should attempt to be sneaky. It's fine with me. You guys go first. I'll follow behind and offer a distraction to any monsters, because I'm glowing. Anybody yeah. want to tag along behind me, or uh, just let me head up front a little bit? That's fine. <sighs> If you want somebody, I, I can accompany you. If not, yeah. I'll, I'll career. Let, let me just take a peek first. How about that? I, I won't go too far. You're going to roll stealth? Yeah, you uh, should if... probably roll stealth. Okay. Just and if then, you're going forward, yeah. Since they have a light source now, I want to get just out of that. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, um, also, you will, so, oh, Kenny? Oh, before he leaves, I'll cast guidance on him for his stuff. Thank you very much. I will add a 1d4 I bonus. will, um... I oh, rolled oh. a natural one. Luckily, there is no nat ones in skill checks. <laughs> so, if you roll high enough, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, tell that to my pride. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm I'm doing my best to be stealthy here. I'm just a big old silhouette against this light. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So you you can move forward. All right. Uh, uh, Avner, if you're going with him, you can move forward as well. Uh, just. Give me a bit of the, the lay of this cavern or whatever it is that I'm walking into. Yeah. Like, if I try and walk along the wall, is there's it... A, uh... There's a little bit of water on the ground. Like, what you're seeing right there is not, like, grass. It's water there. Okay. Um. So, it, if you go around the wall, there's some crystals, like, and plants around. So, you can move around them if you're slow enough. All right. So, that was... My first kind of like clumsy step into this area is like maybe yeah. splash the water a little bit and then I like have to reassess and then I'm going to try and walk along the edge as best as possible to like stay in the shallows and uh, and, and make as few splashes as possible. And I'll just kind of creep my way up. up. 15 behind you. Okay. And as you guys go forward, you guys, uh, you guys can go a little bit f in this cavern. You can, I can go a little bit faster, um, because there's another tunnel patch here, and it's when this tunnel opens up that you guys might see something. All right. So from this area back here, uh, I'll whis whisper to Abner, like maybe we should just kind of do like a relay message back to the group, like I'll whisper to you, you whisper back to them, kind of thing. But uh, you can let them know that. At least this tunnel up ahead, I don't see anything yet. And this cabin looks okay. Okay. I can I, I can message. Oh, fucking brilliant. So, I'll message... Uh, who's that? Renadol's in front. So, I'll, I'll message the person in front, Renadol. Uh, and tell them that they can come up. Nothing in the first cabin, but possibly something in the second. We haven't checked it out. Oh, okay. Oops. 
Uh, I'll I'll be quiet. Not not super like dark, but I'll be quiet. Oh hell yeah, I'll be quiet. <laughs> uh, with the light, it's probably gonna be a disadvantage though. Yes. Fine. It's fine. Fine. Nope. Like yeah, if you want one. glowing, I would let you have that. I am the quietest. You are very it's... quiet. Light just shows forward. Maybe get uh, them to hang back at the uh, at the entrance of this tunnel before they come up any further. Oh, hi, Avener. How's it going? Hey, are you, the rest I'm... of you guys following or staying back there? Uh, I know Limnos is BRB, but um, I love oh. watching the vision of your token move, Kenny, because I get to see what you see. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'll message. Oh, well, I'm way I'll, too I'll, close I can to whisper you guys. Now, yeah. Sorry. Stay at the guess... entrance. I'll message I'll back. I'll stay at the entrance. Okay. You guys need some light? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... This so tunnel is really narrow. <laughs> into this next area here, it looks like it's opening up a little bit. So maybe without going in, can I peek my head around or something? Um, sure. I'll let you step forward and peek your head around the corner without going in. I'll, I'll move up a little bit yep. here. <laughs> uh, what whatever. monster are we hunting? Back uh, a bit. They they mentioned a bird like creature. Oh fucking lion again! Like bird a, like a cave dwelling bird. Mm, <laughs> possibly. They mentioned it looked low like a bat, but not quite. Oh no! Are we in the wrong place? Maybe, but there's other stuff to find. Uh, so Candy, you you duck your head around yeah. and then you duck it right back. Yeah, yeah, so I, I'm back, and now I'm, like, against the wall, and I'm, like, just kind of staying still, and I'm not even making contact with Abner, and I'm like, yeah, 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 there's a, there's a thing. Uh, the most you picked up from your duck around was a large uh, lizard creature? Yep, that's, that's about right. It's, uh, big, kind of looks like, uh... It has dreads? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I think I, I think a friend in school had a pet that looked like that. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's I'll, exactly. I'll message it back to Renadol the exact way that you just said it. You know, they, they tell you not to flush your, your lizard <laughs> down the toilet. Uh, guys, don't worry. They just they found some sort of pet up there. It's fine. We can just walk forward. Okay. It's, it's it's big. <laughs> it's big, like a big, like a like a Dalmatian, big. Uh, okay. Do it. Did I get any sense of skill? Um, it is a large creature. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit bigger than a Dalmatian. Yep. Oh, okay. You you could go past him, like you could squeeze past him in a doll if you want. Listen, you guys can. You can definitely go take a look for uh, look at it for yourselves. But let me just tell you that it did not look happy, and if okay... Setha, you see it. Uh, are you stealthing, by the way, Setha, or are you just going forward? Um, nope, just he told me I could go look at it. Okay. I wanted to go look at it. This You see right here, it looks to be sleeping on the ground, a large lizard. Large. How large? Uh, mm, I mean, I guess I see it. Yeah, you see it. I mean, it doesn't look that big, and it's sleeping. I want to see it. Oh, it's a great Jaggers. I'm actually surprised you're the first one to pick that up, uh, Michael. I know I Kelly could recognize it. it. It's this way. There's like a <laughs> crystal thing here. Can I mine this crystal? Uh, no. Oh. So we just, like, fireball it. It's fine. I was just about to say, I vote we murder it in its sleep. 
Anybody can it agree? even reach us if we hide around the corner? Like, can we just? It could squeeze if it wanted to. If you walk it up. I mean, no. if we can level up, I could fireball it. <laughs> I mean, I, I have I have brimstone that does the uh, bludgeoning damage, no. and then as long as it stays, it just keeps damaging. So if you, we get within five feet of it, we could get some people. serious damage off. Horrible people are just assuming it's hostile instantly. It's a monster. We're hunting monsters. I mean, yeah, that's the, we're that's you're the, the monster. We're supposed right. to be slaughtering innocent <clears throat> creatures. Let's uh, let's does this look like the creature that told us that we were here for. Uh, no. this does not look like a bird-like creature. No. Let's see. We don't have to. That's true. Should we leave this cave and go look for a bird? You're the one that said this cave is cool. It is cool. Maybe but now I feel can... bad. Maybe you can sneak around it, and maybe there's more behind the, the cave. That's true. Can we sneak around it? You can attempt to. <laughs> you sure can try. <laughs> I have the stealth rolls that are important. <laughs> hey, Candy, you're not the lowest stealth. I could always change my stealth roll. Um... Are we actually about to, like, try and just walk past this thing? I guess. I think it'd be stupid to. Oh, then why'd you suggest it? Because <laughs> I didn't think he would. <laughs> I'm he's, going home. He's not the smartest person. I'm Brent leaving. Don't. Smart and Brent wise are two different things. I'm looking for a uh, <laughs> bird. Did, did anybody see if there's, like, even... An exit on the other side of this thing? Do we even know? Nope. What Nobody if bird... happened to see anything. Yeah, yeah. What if what if bird is past lizard? Does anybody have a, anything they can have scout out for us? Or well, the person who went home <laughs> does. I'm, I'm coming back. Did somebody say turn into something that could scout something? I could do that. Oh, I said send something that can scout something. But yeah, I turn awesome. into a cave owl. Uh, you're not Ooh. high enough level to turn into a flying creature. Yeah. You can turn what, what, into a cat again. Or a squirrel. A lizard. A lizard, no, not, yeah. not from... What do lizards guys. eat, guys? What do lizards eat? Don't be uh, something that a lizard eats. <laughs> can lizards eat other lizards? No. It's fine. I mean, I can make anybody uh, invisible, so... There's that, too. You can send Kenny ahead invisibly. <clears throat> no, I... This What's thing, that murdering this thing is going <laughs> up. And... Yeah. I can teleport one of you guys uh, 90 feet. That could okay. be right next how to about, it. How about, I was hey. just about to say, how about I run up and blind it, and then y'all run through? <laughs> uh, okay. So Wait, we're... If, if I cast web on it, it's asleep. It doesn't really get a save. It should automatically fail it, right? Yeah. So I, we could web it, and then... I mean, what, what what does it matter at that point? It's webbed. It's held down. That's true. Well, not held down, but webbed. <clears throat> How much confidence do you have in your webs? Um, Since I've never used it before. Um, 100% confidence. 100%, yeah. There's, Absolutely. They have confidence. yet to, to fail me. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> Sounds like an accurate statement to me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, the math checks out. I think this is our plan. <laughs> so go ahead. <clears throat> Though, I mean, although I don't, I still don't think we really need to be attacking this thing if we're not meant to be here. Here's the fighting thing: it. It, for Limnos to see it, the light has to be close enough for it to it. I could cast it on a pebble and throw the pebble in there. That's fine. Okay. And then immediately, as soon as I toss the pebble, I'll start prepping the spell to cast. But I really don't think we need to be fighting this thing. Well, why don't you like cast it on a on a pebble and then have someone else toss it so you can like simultaneously do the thing? <laughs> well, but... We have other places to explore on the island. Let's explore, That's and true. we can always come back. These aren't the things we're meant here to hunt. I mean, these things could be peaceful, large creatures for all we know, and we just decide to murder them in their sleep. Welcome to well, Monster okay. Hunter. Hey, how about this? How about this? This tunnel's pretty tight, right? Yes. So, I will just see if there is an extra exit on the other side of that lizard. If not, I'll come back, 
If so, I'll call you guys over. But if shit hits the fan, we just back out this way. It shouldn't be able to chase us, right? <clears throat> so you can move up to your movement speed, uh, Canny. Which is now increased by five, right? Yep. <laughs> Wait, shit. <laughs> What? So, I I mean, I'm... Yeah, I, mean, I have it updated, so yeah, if you put it out there, you have to commit. Alright, so, did anyone... Uh, okay, no did way anyone that but you. Did anyone object to me doing what I said I was going to do? What yes, gonna do? I walked away. Alright, I'm going to go look to see if there's another exit. So I go to look to see if there's another exit, what? and <laughs> what you guys probably see is me <laughs> freeze like halfway through a step uh, and okay. probably start to shake a little uncontrollably. <clears throat> so, unlike... I don't see anything. I'm unlike the other one, this one is not asleep. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> There's another one? <laughs> it, it looked like it, like, just... It was sniffing around, like, the carcass of something, um, but it sees you walk out, and it just looks up at you. Ah, there's another one! Oh. Well, come back, then. And I I'm going to act back. for initiative. Shit. As it was out. Probably wakes the other one, like we should have just not done this. <laughs> so again, I guess I'll be the voice of reason. And I'm going to end, after everybody rolls initiative, I'm going to end combat. I mean, not in combat. I told in you session. guys we should have gone down the beach. Yeah, he... First off, you were in the cave <laughs> immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I was even going to try to sway you guys to go on the beach, and I was going to offer to put pants on, but now I'm not. I'm going to deal with this. The pants deal are with coming off. The pants See, are already at, off. At the end of this, we might have a nice pair of uh, leather skin pants for you. That's true. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about scale pants on my scales. <laughs> Maybe it'll feel more natural. Yeah, yeah. Like a second mm -hmm. set of skin. Sifta and Alistair, can I have initiatives and then we'll end session here? As soon as you stop trying to stop me from pulling my pants off, I mage hand it and was walking as they were falling off. <laughs> oh come on, Alistair! Ouch! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Ow. It's fine. We're back in the tunnel. We really don't know what's going on anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'm back at the waterway. You guys you definitely heard me scream. There's another one. He was not being quiet about that. That really sounds like a you problem. I'm on uh, the other end of the tunnel. I'm going to end session there. Thank you guys for joining me. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm going to need you to roll uh, 4d6. Don't worry, like, six six again. it's fine. I'm just taking a just... snip so I could share it with friends later. I'm just jagged. I switched over to your uh, Twitch. You don't even, my character's not even on the screen anymore. No, so... he's down he's here. Just... <laughs> he's like, no. look, I know where this is going, and I don't want to be here. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my perspective. It's very lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Why you've no, got you, two things keeping I'm, you company? I'm gonna end yeah, my right. stream here. Thank you everybody for joining me. Um, it's been a great time. I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for the role play. Today's session was great fun. Like I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope I didn't miss anybody awesome. or ignored anybody. As always, uh, we should be back at some point next month. Uh, I'm gonna figure out a day with these guys, and we'll figure that out. Until then, stay sweet. <laughs>